Hello, welcome to this quick tip video. Now, quick tip videos are all about real tips, tricks, camera hacks that I've picked up over the years of media and photography that I actually do use. So none of this gimmicky stuff with CDs in front of lenses or coffee cups for lens hoods. It's gonna be real stuff which I actually do use day in, day out for my photography. And today we're talking about a bit of software. Now the software is free, doesn't cost anything to download it and try it out. And it's called Farstone Image Viewer. Now the main reason why I first started using this was for speed. So I could view raw files much quicker than I could in Lightroom. Now I use Lightroom, I use Photoshop, very brilliant. But I still use this as my go-to bit of software when I come back from a shoot, the first thing I want to do is look at these files on a big screen and faster an image viewer will let me do that much quicker than Lightroom. No, I'd have to import it. Um, I'd have to wait for, for all these raw files to be imported into Lightroom. I can do it straight away without even removing them off my, my SD card. So let me show you a few other things you can do with faster an image viewer. So once your SD card's in your computer, you can find the folder and all your pictures will be displayed on the left hand side column you can change how you view the, the images um, you can even do a full screen here now if I wanted to change I can just hold down my right arrow and it will cycle through if I keep my finger on it this is how quick I can now view my raw files now if I see a file which I quite like I press the Q button and up in the right hand corner it's now tagged that file so if I change my view back to here, you can also tag whichever ones you want. And you can then press this one and it'll only show you the files you've just tagged to say I now wanted to only have those keepers. Um, and I can now copy to a folder or move to a folder those files. I can also batch convert, um, which is under my tools and I can convert those selected images to whatever format I want. Another thing you can do is if you decide in between the two files, so if you've got two which are very similar, um, say so that one, that one, you can just see if there's any which are actually in sharp, which neither of these look like they are, but you get the idea. You can do more than two images as well, you can do three images, is something I use and find really useful. Is you can actually do some editing work, so you can adjust the lighting with either sliders down here, or you can adjust the levels down here. So if you just wanted to check to see if you could recover the highlights on a file, then you can do that all without taking those images off that SD card. You've also got the sharpen blur, reduce noise, a clone and heal. You can obviously crop an image as well. So we can go to the crop and select different crops and different ratios. So if I wanted to say it like that, if I do any editing work at all on this actual picture, so I then sharpened it as well. I um, if I try to move off that picture, it's going to save it to a, to a different file, and then I'd have to say yes, and it'll actually save that, and then you decide what you want to save it as. But I tend not to do that because if I wanted to edit a, um, a picture, I can edit with an external program, and I can choose any of these programs here. So I've got Lightroom, Photoshop, Photomatics. I can just send that image over to any of those from within Fastlane Image Viewer. And the last thing I'm going to show you with Fastlane Image Viewer is probably the best thing and that's to do with 4K video. Now with 4K video I use DaVinci Resolve to edit my 4K in and it takes ages, it takes hours even just to view it back. I have to load it into it then I have to optimise it which can take ages, hours and hours just so I can then start to watch it back. Now, what I use Fastlane for is I can get select a little bit of 4K image here. I can double click on it, or it should go full size, and I can play it back, no problems at all. It's just playing as if it's just normal bit of video, um, which is great. But what I can also now do with that is I can 
as I play it back, I can select the, the bits I need. So out of that, this clip here, I may only want five or six seconds from it and not all 36 seconds of it. So then I'll know the timings and what bit from that clip to then optimize for DaVinci Resolve, which then cuts down the time it takes me to optimize it by huge amounts, just because I can now view it onto Faster and Image Viewer. I hope that's been useful. That's just another one of these quick tip videos. If you want to watch another one, I'll put a link somewhere over here. And also, please do me a massive favor and subscribe.